they do. So a lot of people have been asking me um, how I got off sugar, refined sugar. I don't have, it's not that I'm off sugar completely, I'm off refined sugar. Um, and that's not even, I wouldn't even say that's 100% true, but it is very close to being that. <laughs> Um, I live in Thailand where uh, the, the, this country, it doesn't matter where you go, what you do, there is going to be sugar in everything. If I prepared all my food at home, then I'd probably be most likely sure of there being no refined sugar in there. But if you ever go out to eat, it's going to be hard to find uh, a meal that has no sugar in it in this country. Um, in fact, a lot of the boxes, um, uh, it will say no sugar added, but then we've been, uh, we found out lately that that's not 100% true. So I want to share with you what's happened. So this is the second time I've gotten off refined sugar. Um, and so I'll tell you about this time and how I did it. Um, first of all, I made a very strong intention in my system. I was like, I want to be healthier. I want to eat healthier. I want to be stronger. I want my muscles to be more defined and because this is how I'm used to living and I'd like to stop the, you know, get rid of the addiction of refined sugar. Like literally it was my habit, it was my go-to. If I'm stressed, I go to sugar. If I'm, if I'm happy, I go to sugar. If I'm sad, I go to sugar. It's like everything was like I, I go to sugar. Even though I wouldn't say I ate it that much during the day, but it's still enough to make a difference when it's cut out. So I made the intention, um, one thing I did was made it my intention also before I went into a combo ceremony, um, and with those kind of ceremonies that supports you in that, but I've gotten off of refined sugar without doing a, a ceremony like that. Um, and you can look uh, at my other videos about combo and what happened there. Um, but intention is a big thing. Thing. Like I waited until my body was ready. When my body said, yes, I'm ready to commit, I wasn't pushing, I wasn't forcing, it wasn't coming from my head. I was like, my body felt in alignment. Like, yes, it's time for this change. Hearts, you know, it's like all of my, my gut, everything I was like, yeah, I'm ready for this change. And I, I felt into it and everything said yes. So that's the first thing. When we come from the brain and making a decision from the mind, it's a completely different thing and it's a lot harder than we're coming from a full body yes. And so that's what I want to get. And it's like our habits are going to still want to come in and go, hey, 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 what about me? Um, but when we are in full alignment with this, it makes a huge difference. Um, okay, so that's number one. Find, like I found other things like, I didn't plan it, I just was like, this is my commitment. So, the day I committed to it, and I don't know, it was five or six days later when I was, it was like that craving, I'm like, I need something sugary. And I was like, um, so, you know, I ate a half a papaya, you know, and then the next day I ate the other half a papaya. I'm like, okay, cool, I can do this. And then about uh, 10 to 14 days after that, I was like, I want chocolate. I'm like, okay, so where can I go and get chocolate that has no sugar? So that means, like, and that means cacao. That means, like, real, the real deal. And so there was a cafe right down the street. Um, I thought, I've never been there. Everybody tells me it's, like, this healthy place. So I went there, and they have this cup of hot chocolate that they sweeten with date sugar. So it's just basically dates that they blend it up and they put it in there. I've never been a date fan. I am a date fan now. Like, that has saved my life. Like, when I want that, like, I am somebody who loves warm, sweet liquid. Like, oh, yes. And so I get to go there, um, not every day, because every day there's just too much cacao for your system, for my system anyway. And it's like, so I get to go there when I want that. I've also found another restaurant that it's, you know, they sweeten everything naturally. So it's like they have cacao. They have, like my favorite is cacao, pumpkin, and um, cinnamon. The pumpkin is sweet enough that there's no added anything. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but one of my friends introduced me to something that was banana cacao 
and um, pumpkin. And I'm like, I want to try. I want to try that. But it's like, so what I'm doing is I'm finding things that are satisfying for my body. So this is the thing. Being a personal trainer um, years ago and helping my mom also when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, losing weight. You know, there's not there's not this thing of like, oh, you can't have that. No, you don't do that. Da, da, da. It's a, do you want that? And it's, it's like, does that when I ask myself, do I want that? Is what is is it aligning with my truth? Is it aligning with my intention? And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And so then I'm like, okay. So then instead of starving myself and going, no, you can't have any sugar. It's like, what kind of sugar can I have? My, my rule is no refined sugar, which means no candy bars, no chai with actual sugar in it and stuff like that. And it's, so when I go out to a restaurant and I order Penang curry, I know that there's refined sugar in that. Is that going to make me like, oh my God, I've got to have sugar now? It, I don't think it has. It's still a savory thing. Like it's not a dessert. And that's what I'm like working on getting rid of is that habit of having the dessert. It's almost been two months now. And I've had like that really strong hankering for like sugar like three, three times and mildly um, a few more times uh, other than that. And it's really just replacing it with something that's healthy. So I'm doing smoothies now. I'll have a, a mango and I'll put some bananas. We have these thick little tiny bananas with coconut, nothing added. Oh, sorry. Coconut, uh, I'll have coconut water or almond milk. That's it. Blend it up. Boom. It's an amazing treat on top of it feels like a dessert and it's fulfilling. And I feel like I've gotten something sweet. So I'm finding my way. And so it's, it's not denying yourself and please, 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 don't tell yourself you can't have something because you can. I have four candy bars in my refrigerator that tells me I can have refined sugar at any point in time because I can. Languages and how we speak to ourselves are important when we want to make big changes in our lives. So say to yourself, that's no longer in my diet. I don't want that. That's no longer for me. Or I want that, but I'm choosing something different. That's a really, that's the honest truth. I want that, but I'm choosing something different. So these are the ways we can language things where our body doesn't feel like it's always in contraction, restriction, no, that negative thing that we get into. So whatever you're dealing with, it's like, this is how we change our minds and we change everything. So. Take that all in. I hope that helps. Sending you love. If you have any questions, put them below. Please like it. If this is YouTube, please subscribe. Sending you love. Mwah. Bye.